Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and I am the resourceful CEO. Many people don't think about buying a business when they think about entrepreneurship. And there's many ways to start a business, um, but I think the best entree, not always, not always, but one of the best entrees into business ownership, into successful business ownership, is to buy a successful existing business. You could buy an existing franchise versus a startup, or you could buy just an existing business. If you are a plumber, you could buy an existing plumbing company. If you're an electrician, you could buy an existing electrician company or HVAC firm or whatever. If you are in construction or you like the construction field, you could buy a roofing company or a painting company, drywall firm, or a small general con general contracting firm. The point is, is that when you buy an existing firm, you already have um, historical financials and so on. So it's much, much easier to get the business finance. Now, of course, of course, this is assuming <laughs> And that can be a pretty big assumption. Assuming that the owner was not trying to um, generate a loss in order to pay minimal taxes. So it's it's always a bad idea if someone wants to sell their company to, um, you know, sell it right after they had a loss. Um, <laughs> but some people still do. So what you want is to find um, a a uh, profitable company that actually has at least two years of tax returns and financial statements showing that the company has been profitable during that time. So if you have that, then it's much easier for a bank to say, yes, they have the profits and the cash flow to be able to pay this loan back because that's what banks are interested in. They want they, they first look at cash flow. D does the company generate enough money to pay the loan back? And that's why an existing business is so compelling because a profitable existing business does have the money to pay the loan back. It was giving the owner however much money. Um, they call that the seller discretionary, um, what is it called? The, discretionary income. No, SDE. But anyways, we'll come back to that. Uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a measure of cash flow. It's typically the profits made and any pay that the uh, owner received and then any perks that the owner received that goes into that, that calculation. So if you are, you know, instead of starting a company from scratch and putting in 10,000, 20, 40, however many thousands, um, you could buy a firm, depending on how much capital you have and how much management expertise and so on, you could buy a company for um, that has 100,000 in revenue, or you could buy a company that has 10 million in revenue. It just depends, again, on what you feel comfortable with, what your experience base is, uh, and so on. Um, but that's what I highly recommend. You could qualify for an SBA loan. You could qualify for a regular commercial loan. Again, depending on your background and the background of the seller and how good the financials are, or the background of the, of the actual company and how good the financials are. Um, one caveat would be that if the seller is the business, for instance, if you buy a plumbing company and the seller is only 50 and he's saying he's retiring, um, you'd have to structure the deal to make sure that the plumber doesn't get bored in two years and decide to come after the existing clients. <laughs> but that's a topic for another discussion. So just keep that in mind. If you are looking or, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it, consider buying an existing company. You can buy it. It's based on the uh, revenues and profits of the existing company, not your current revenues. Go for it. I am Tiffany C. Wright.
the resourceful CEO. Oh, and please remember to like and subscribe so that I can bring more of this information to you on a weekly basis. Keep me around for a bit.